marks another significant milestone in our illustrious journey. One that has seen us grow from a humble beginning as a travel consultant in Mumbai to becoming a global leader in the HR consultancy industry. This occasion is a celebration not only of a new chapter in our journey but also of our unwavering commitment to excellence and innovation now embodied in the state-of-the-art facility. Our story began on March 18, 1985 when my grandfather, the late Sri Madhusudanan, founded what would become a powerhouse in the recruitment industry. The relocation to a modern and advanced office space in Chennai signifies our dedication to providing top-tier HR solutions in an environment that fosters growth, creativity and efficiency. Our new facility is designed to enhance our operational capabilities, allowing us to better serve our clients and partners. As we inaugurate the state-of-the-art office space, we look forward to continuing our legacy of excellence, forging new partnerships and exploring new opportunities. Thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion and for being a part of Siegel Group's extraordinary journey. Welcome to Siegel Group Chennai. Welcome to a new era of excellence. Good morning, everyone. It is indeed my pleasure to address you all this auspicious occasion of our relocation of our Chennai branch to a new state-owned art facilities. Thank you very much for all the dignitaries, special invitees, and the people, all the Siegelians came from various branches across India and abroad. It is indeed a pleasure that, uh, as, I, as my son said, that actually it's a pleasure that to be a, one of the leading HR consultants in India as far as the global recruitment is concerned. We started in a very humble beginning in 1985. Now we can proudly say that uh, we are one of the leading or the largest uh, HR consultants companies in India, uh, having uh, uh, 15 branches across 10 countries. And uh, we have been... Uh, I mean, got so many awards from different bodies. This itself is showing that actually uh, the credibility of our organization. And in fact, I have a client from Qatar, and we are blessed with uh, uh, Thomas sir, uh, who is also came to Qatar, from Qatar, and he stayed back for attending this program. Thank you. you we are dealing with him for the last 15, 20 years. He is the uh, uh, let's say, HR head of Gulfar Group companies. Not a chance, sorry, a mechanical head of. As I said, that actually, uh, human resource, the biggest asset of our country is our uh, 1.4 billion people. Out of that, 65% of the people in India is under the age of 35 years. And this 30, uh, all the 65% people can be employable. But the problem now we are facing is that actually the lacking of skills. Uh, lacking of training. This is what actually we are focusing more because we as a company dealing with all the multinational companies in the Middle East as well as Europe and other part of the world and they need the people, trained people. But uh, the situation in India, the education system of our India is not that, meet, uh, no, that not meeting up the requirement of the world need. And so many uh, projects have been awarded by the government of India under the Skill Development Ministry. But unfortunately, the things are not moving in the right direction. Where the companies like us is playing a role because we are having a division for skilling, training and all. We are training the people according to the need of the client. Because the people coming out from the education institution is not employable. So many studies shows that actually they are not uh, able to uh, be employable. Because what the curriculum which we are talking, uh, teaching on the colleges and schools is not based on an industrial uh, basis actually. Because we need a collaboration between individuals, institutions and industries. Then only that HR industry can flourish. Then only we can able to dream about becoming India being the skilling capital of the world. 
I don't have because this is a small ceremony. We organize of the constraint space in uh, this office. Not like uh, uh, Chen Cochin. Cochin last year we had inaugurated a, an office uh, in where uh, Mr. Anubji was uh, inaugurated the office. He asked me that uh, in the during the speech he told that Suresh is going to open a new office in Chennai. I don't know whether he will innovate me or not since I have done this inauguration in uh, Cochin, and it is my privilege uh, that uh, he is uh, there to inaugurate this office again. And uh, I, I welcome Mr. Anubji uh, to this function, and he is a, a very good friend of mine. And uh, I don't need any sort of introduction because uh, the MC will uh, introduce him before he come for the speech. But still, I think that actually he, I, we don't need an introduction of Mr. Anubji. He is a versatile person, and very uh, glad that actually he is a friend of mine. During his uh, uh, launch of his autobiography in Sharjah Book Festival. I got an opportunity to launch this uh, book in Sharjah. Thank you very much for considering me. And I welcome Mr. Anubji. And I ask Mr. Sham, our uh, Vice President, to give a bouquet of flowers to uh, just felicitate him as a token of appreciation. Our chief guest for today is uh, Mr. Ravi Kumar, Managing Director and, and uh, he was also so busy, he was supposed to travel to Finland today but uh, because of this commitment he came and attending this function. Thank you very much for uh, gracing this occasion. I request uh, Mr. Ranju Raj, our branch manager of Chennai to felicitate him with a bouquet of flowers as a token of appreciation. That the guest of honor for today is uh, Mr. V.C. Praveen, the Vice Chairman of Gogolam Group of Companies. And uh, all the Chennaites and the Indians know him very well. And moreover, Malayalis know very well because Gogolam cheats as well as that uh, Flower TV, uh, uh, 24 Channel, plus uh, uh, that Gogolam Football Club and all because he is an ardent fan of uh, football. And uh, is the, I, I just uh, request Mr. Lelith Mori, our uh, GM uh, operations, to give a bouquet of love at. <laughs> Mr. Raghunath Ji Kulkarni is a very close family friend of mine. He also flown from uh, Bombay to Chennai. In fact, he is uh, having some sort of an official assignment at uh, Andaman Nicobar. He is heading that uh, BJP's uh, uh, region in three states. Uh, he is a very senior leader, very close to all the ministers and it is our privilege and plus uh, whatever the support he has been done because I being the Secretary General of Indo Middle East Chamber of Commerce, our President is the Chairman is there Mr. Sharafuddin and he is very supportive for all our uh, um, activities, uh, expanding the INMAC activities including the launch ceremony in uh, Dubai where he has brought uh, uh, um, uh, finance, Minister of State for Finance to Dubai for launching this thing again so many other function with, uh, with his support uh, we could able to uh, approach all these people and thank you very much sir coming and gracing this occasion I request uh, uh, Mr. Om Naira and Mishra our uh, GM client acquisition for give, uh, giving a bouquet of uh, flowers as a token of appreciation <laughs> Mr. Om is our uh, Chennai branch manager also and he is deading the business development huh? Delhi, Delhi, sorry, Delhi, Delhi. <laughs> and the next is Dr. Enam Sharfuddin. Enam Sharfuddin, uh, he is the uh, chairman, as I said, the chairman of Indo Gulf and Middle East Chamber of Commerce. And plus, he is the CEO and managing director of Omega Group of Companies. And he is in the recruitment industry for the last four, recruitment and travel industry for the last 40 plus years. And he is a mentor for all uh, minister people like, and uh, it is very, uh, it's my, uh, minister, uh, it's an opportunity for me to work with him as a secretary general because he is the chairman of INMAC and we both for the last three, four years working together for this development of the chambers and always he is supportive. He came from uh, uh, question to attend this function. Thank you very much, sir. And I request Mr. Uh, 
മിസ്റ്റർ കെ മുകുന്ദൻ അവർ കൊച്ചിൻ ബ്രാഞ്ച് മാനേജർ ആൻഡ് എ ജി എം ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ടു ഫെലിസിറ്റേറ്റ് ഹിം വിത്ത് എ ബൊക്കെ ഓഫ് ഫ്ലവേഴ്സ് and thank you very much all the invitees my friends colleagues all the family members without your support uh, uh, a function like this magnitude has not been possible all are came from different parts of india and other parts of world thank you very much uh, and to be part of seagal and the growing journey of seagal thank you very much once again welcome all of you to this function over to shreyas yes. heading on to our inaugural address by our chief guest dr av anup dr av anup is the chairman of the indian eurasian trade council and the managing director of ava group of companies renowned globally for its flagship brand medimix and ventures in soap manufacturing pharmaceuticals and food his entrepreneurial prowess extends to holistic healthcare with sanjeevanam ayurveda and acquisitions like melam and the historic nilgiris supermarket chain Beyond business Dr Anup's artistic pursuits in Indian and Hollywood cinema reflect his multifaceted contributions to business and healthcare and the arts today we are honored to celebrate his enduring impact and achievements with a round of applause let us please welcome Dr AV Anup on the dais good morning thank you dr suresh for one more opportunity <laughs> cuz i have been yes mentioned about our relationship yes i think almost nearly two decades we have been following each other understanding each other and participating in various events and he is a strong believer of sri narayana guru i am also a, a supporter and i have produced a movie called uh, yuga purushan about sri narayana guru so he used to encourage me for all my activities and we meet at shivagiri very often so with the blessings of sri narayana guru deva i wish you all the best thank you very much sir. and uh, the video uh, shows everything i need not uh, talk about the growth the journey of seekal group 39 years back his father sri madhusudan and chartered it as a uh, travel business now he has taken it into an international business very strong in nature he has mentioned about the strength of our country which is human resource but i always think you know this human resource first start from our own family here you are very lucky because i think this is one of the smallest branch you are opening recently where his wife his son his daughter is there as a strong pillar and uh, they are involved in business also so you are very lucky yes, yes. so special congratulations to you your wife and your children for that and i'm sure with their support this 15 in no time we can inaugurate the 50th branch yes. i don't know in which country it is going to happen but anyway and i'm happy that you know you are even vidinjam port and all you are one of the uh leading labor supplier so he called me when he decided to shift his small office in chennai to a new place so i only introduced mr anwar to do the interiors and he used to come to my office and ask everything but i always say that any support is required in chennai he says no everything i have and i'm glad that two of my friends are here to Uh, as chief guest to inaugurate uh, be part of this inaugural section both are known to all the people in chennai and both are good uh, good businessmen in addition to that arts sports uh, in their own way they are international figures and i admire ravi kumar's sound illusion he is a perfect mimicry artist so he in fact performs even during his company general body meetings <laughs> as chairman <laughs> so <laughs> similar <laughs> so even i also perform <laughs> perform drama uh, in front of my factory workers because that's a bonding very good bonding since it's an hr company i'm saying there's a different way to 
connect with uh, uh, labor. So, um, Mr. Praveen also has acted with me in a drama. And uh, today's Manorama, Chennai Manorama has given a very good uh, news that on 30th there is a drama here at Malayali Club in which along with me, Sri Gogulam Gobalan is also performing. We are introducing Sri Gogulam Gobalan to stage drama. So, it's a good thing that, you know, this uh, corporate people are also considering art, culture, sports, everything, along with their busy business schedule. Because I always used to say that, you know, whatever I gained or uh, any positions or any recognitions, for my business, I, I don't uh, recollect any awards given by government, state government or central government, but many awards for my art and culture activities, cinema and other. In fact, even UAE, Golden Visa, I have a business there and with my business background, I thought that I'm eligible for business, uh, Golden Visa as a businessman. And when I applied, they asked the uh, CV, the entire CV of uh, my thing, and then I submitted. Immediately, I'm getting a reply from Ministry of Culture saying that considering your theater and uh, cinema activities, we decided to give you Golden Visa. So that's our strength. So good that you selected <laughs> the <that> team. <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, I, I understand that about 20 people are going to work here, so uh, I think we'll have to uh, shift to another building very soon in Chennai. <laughs> Chennai is a city where, uh, we, uh, no, we always encourage uh, businessmen, and uh, the history shows that you know hundreds of Keralites who came here started with a small with small ventures have become uh, international figures, millionaires and billionaires. So, you don't require that, but I think Chennai will bless you and with all our support, uh, I wish you once again all the very best for your family and all the team here, uh, the manager, brand manager and all team members, all the very best and thank you once again for inviting me to inaugurate your second brand, <laughs> second time. Because Kochi is a standalone building, it's a, in the most prime location and one of the uh, beautiful buildings I've seen in Cochin. So, congratulations, Suresh, for your growth and all the very best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Anu, for your kind words. And uh, we always will be indebted to you for your support throughout our journey. I now invite our chief guest, Mr. Ravi Kumar, to address us. Mr. Ravi Kumar is the managing director and CEO of Flyjack Logistics Private Limited a leading integrated international 3PL company offering comprehensive supply chain solutions such as freight, transportation, warehousing, distribution, reverse logistics and supply chain management services. With a solid background of 10 years in pharmaceutical sales and over 25 years in supply chain management, he brings an extensive experience to this industry. Beyond his professional accomplishments, Ravi Kumar is a passionate mimicry artist having performed in over 500 stages across India and overseas. He is also a dedicated founder trustee of the Warrior Foundation initiated by Mr. A.S. Madhuban which supports over 300 children in Mumbai and Kerala, reflecting his commitment to social welfare and community development. With a round of applause, let us please welcome Mr. Ravi Kumar on the dais. Good morning to all. It's a great honor to be here out of this uh, function and especially you know along with uh, Sri Anub where I call uh, my role model when it comes to you know mixing with uh, <laughs> culture and uh, business because I always wonder how he finds time for because whenever I try to reach more you know in the me uh, in the social media you keep seeing it that uh, today he is in Cochin tomorrow he is in uh, Dubai and uh, then he is buying Nilgiri, signing the contracts there and at the same time we also see him in the club uh, doing the rehearsals for drama and then shooting. I don't know how it's possible. 
So this gave me the strength actually to start uh, reinventing my passion, which I used to do it in 1990 in Mumbai. So thanks for that, and then it's a great uh, opportunity to be together, also with uh, Mr. Uh, Pravin, because I also see him very often in various activities only, not uh, related to the business. When we, I think, uh, we have seen the, you know, the great uh, growth, more than three decades of uh, service in uh, HR. When I look at it, I was just wondering how is it possible because the world is so dynamic in any business, you know, forget about growing, sustaining itself is very difficult, and especially in HR field because the HR field is uh, also changing a lot because of the technology, because of the, you know, the dynamic atmosphere. So I believe uh, it is not possible unless and until there is a great vision uh, of the leader, a good pro process, a good practice uh, in place. And without having a great team to implement it, this wouldn't have been possible. So I really congratulate uh, Dr. Suresh and the whole team for making such a wonderful uh, organization. Because I am also in the service industry and I understand how difficult it is uh, when it comes to you know uh, service industry and then uh, retaining the customers and then growing the organization. And uh, I think this is also not possible unless and until you have a vision which is higher than the normal, uh, you know, normal thing what we think about when we start a business that is growing the organization or earning money. If that is the only thing, it is impossible to have such a sustainable growth. So I'm sure the vision that he has, because uh, when you talk about HR recruitment, it is not just, uh, you know, filling the gap, uh, having the, you know, the gap of uh, need of an organization or just recruiting uh, or get, matching the resume with a job description. I think it is much beyond that. Uh, because when it is coming to the value, what I'm, I believe what is upholding, what I've been seeing it also, hearing about Seagull is also that, you know, it's not uh, seeing that putting somebody in some position and then, you know, uh, make money. No, I believe it is uh, his vision is that uh, how this is for an individual, it is more than just getting a job. It is realizing his dream. It is, uh, you know, developing his uh, life and then creating a great future. I think that is what he is supporting. And when it comes to an organization, it is not just filling the position, but more than that, the individual that makes the organization and uh, the individuals that makes the team, which helps the organization to grow in my uh, Flyjack, we used to say that it is not that the Flyjack is growing and the team is growing along with. It is the people who grows and that the reason the organization is growing. So I believe, uh, you know, this value, having that vision that uh, the people who makes the organization and then we are also supporting the dream and then the future of the uh, individuals to grow together. That he, maybe that value is something which is the backbone of this growth. So I believe, uh, I believe that uh, he will continue in, in terms of with the, with the strength, with the growth that is being seen. I'm sure Siegel will continue growing, will uh, fulfill the aspirations of many more thousands and thousands of uh, job seekers and also will help many, because I've seen more than 350 large organizations in his, uh, in his uh, customer list. I'm sure he will be having much more uh, organizations which will be, where he will be helping, where Siegel will be helping to grow further to develop their organizations. So, wish you all the best. And uh, for the team, Chennai, all the best. We are here only, we'll uh, have more opportunities to meet. Thank you very much. Once again, thank you for inviting me on to the Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ravi Kumar, for your kind words and uh, taking the time out from your schedule to make it over here. It really means a lot to us. We now have a special felicitation to Mr. Anwar MP, a leading architect based out of Chennai in recognition of exceptional talent and creativity in architectural planning of Seagull Chennai. 
His visionary expertise has transformed a workspace into a masterpiece of form and function. I kindly invite Dr. Suresh Kumar Madhusudhanan, CMD of Siegel Group, to felicitate him and I would like to invite the other dignitaries to come onto the dais for the felicitation ceremony. I now invite our guest of honor, Mr. V.C. Praveen, to share his thoughts. Mr. V.C. Praveen, Vice Chairman of Sri Gokulam Group of Companies, is a prominent business leader known for his visionary leadership across diverse sectors including finance, hospitality and healthcare. His tenure as President of the All India Association of Chit Funds brought significant reforms enhancing transparency and credibility in the industry. As Global President of the World Malayali Council, he has led initiatives benefiting the global Malayali community and is recognized for his philanthropic endeavors, including supporting pediatric heart surgery camps and other charitable causes. With a round of applause, let us please welcome Mr. V.V. VC Praveen onto the dais. Happy Sunday morning to all. <coughs> While I was watching us 21 years of networking companies across the world, my short stint of, of discussions and meeting, one thing I understood was the networking he does personally, he himself is a doctorate in HR. Because the resources he has gained is seen here this Sunday morning when everybody is lazy to get out of the bed and meet their own needs and wants. We have a full house here. That itself proves how good he is at uh, networking. In fact, I think uh, Mr. Anup has got a new actor also. <laughs> Soon we might see him in the dramas and the theatre because uh, it was Mr. Anup who had uh, introduced Mr. Suresh to me and when they came and spoke about INMEC, I thought uh, probably uh, this was his first job because of the way he was involved and in, uh, interested in bringing all of us together to be members here surprised me. But later Anup said he is really a big man, he is an international big man, businessman and all that. I knew that the passion he has in discussing anything, whatever he gets involved, that is a success story. So, after going America, Saudi Arabia, Doha, Dubai and everything is coming, I am sure he's seen the potential Chennai has got. Certainly, uh, you will be growing in a bigger way. And there is an old saying in Chennai, always like, Vandorai uh, Vadavikam Tamilagam. That is what they say about Tamil Nadu and Chennai here. Yeah. I am sure, uh, Chennai welcomes you in a big way and uh, more to say and uh, in his uh, meeting uh, speech also he said that what you learn at the school and college is not what we practice in daily life and uh, like Anup said about the family he had brought a son also to so invite me so he's teaching the nuances of business to them also in uh, day to day life I'm sure this family together will be the leaders in this field thank you. I would now like to invite a very special guest all the way from Mumbai, Mr. Raghunath Kulkarni. I would like our CMD, Dr. Suresh Kumar, to give a small introduction about him before he comes onto the dais. Need any introduction? He is actually the kingmaker. Maybe we can able to say <laughs> that's all. Eh? Okay, he's a very respected personality in the political field. That's all. Okay. <laughs> For me. <laughs> I'm sitting okay. Thank you. 
I came here as a family friend of you, not a politician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I would like to speak in Hindi, is okay? Yeah, that's right. As I ki 1985, I remember this month is also June. मेरे पास पासपोर्ट नहीं था और मैं डॉक्टर सुरेश कुमार तो मैं डॉक्टर बोल रहा हूँ एट दैट टाइम यू आर ओनली सुरेश मैं पासपोर्ट बनाने इसके पास गया था और आप शायद नहीं जानते जो अभी हमने क्लिप देखा उसमें वेरी स्मॉल ऑफिस I thought that only 100 square feet, na? Less than that. Less than that. 80 square feet. ऐसे ऑफिस में मैं सुरेश के पास गया था वरली मुंबई में पासपोर्ट निकालने के लिए तो सुरेश ने तो मेरा पासपोर्ट निकाल दिया लेकिन मेरा आज सौभाग्य है कि आज तक वो पासपोर्ट एक्सपायर नहीं हुआ है ऐसा है कि डॉक्टर सुरेश कुमार मुझे तो साल भर में वो पाँच छः सात आठ बार मेरे पीछे पड़े रहते ये प्रोग्राम अरेंज किया है ये मिनिस्टर दो ये चीफ गेस्ट दो वो चीफ गेस्ट दो लेकिन मैं ये समझता हूँ कि ये जो काम आप कर रहे हैं आपकी टीम कर रही है उसके बारे में स्वामी विवेकानंद जी ये कहते थे कि आप किसी को दो वक्त की तीन वक्त की रोटी तो दे सकते हैं रोटी देने से वो कुछ नहीं होता है यदि आप उस आदमी के हाथ को काम देते हैं तो आदमी आपको जिंदगी भर याद रखेगा है धन मुझे लगता है कि ये बहुत बड़ा काम आप कर रहे हैं जिसमें स्किल का भी विषय है ऑनेस्टी का भी विषय है स्कॉलर का भी विषय है और मैं ये मानता हूँ कि आज के ज़माने में इंटिल टुडे लोग ये कहते हैं कि भाई अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट या बेरोजगार वगैरह बोलते हैं ना लेकिन प्रॉपर मैन फॉर प्रॉपर वर्क ये आप कर रहे हैं इतना ध्यान में रखो तो मैं ये समझता हूँ कि मैं कोई गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर करके नहीं आया हूँ आई एम नॉट ए गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर आई एम योर फैमिली फ्रेंड लेकिन मेरा एक दुख है जरूर आई हैव पेन सुरेश कुमार जी कॉल में ओनली इन इंडिया बुलाते नहीं है आप जाते हैं दुबई में जाते हैं और ही कॉल मी फ्रॉम दुबई अरे रघुनाथ जी आई वॉन्ट गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर फॉर द इनाग्रेशन ऑफ दिस कंपनी फ्रॉम दुबई यू कॉल मी तो मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि कभी आप इंटरनेशनली जाते हो <laughs> लेकिन वापस इंडिया आना है <laughs> तो मैं समझता हूँ कि आज के जमाने में स्किल डेवलपमेंट करके लोगों को एम्प्लॉयमेंट देना नॉट ओनली इंडिया इंटरनेशनली आप ये काम कर रहे हैं आपके काम में आपको जो भी सपोर्ट चाहिए वो सपोर्ट मैं बिल्कुल आपको देने के लिए तैयार हूँ डोंट वरी आपने मुझे आज यहाँ पे बुलाया और चेन्नई का मतलब क्या है पता है क्या चेन्नई का मतलब नो रेस्ट चैन नहीं चेन्नई का मतलब नो रेस्ट तो अभी आपने यहाँ पे ऑफिस ओपनिंग किया है तो कोई चेन्नई वाले आपको रेस्ट नहीं लेने देंगे इन्होंने बिल्कुल सही कहा आप चेन्नई में आएंगे तो डेवलपमेंट आ गया और आपकी डेवलपमेंट हो जाएगी मैं इतना ही कहूँगा आखिर में कि आपने चेन्नई में ऑफिस खोला है आपको गोविंदा का यानी तिरुपति बालाजी का आशीर्वाद मिले और और, और आप आगे जाए आपने शायद यूएस में ऑफिस खोला नहीं अभी तक <laughs> इसलिए आपको 
आने वाले दिनों में इन फ्यूचर जो भी हेल्प चाहिए सपोर्ट चाहिए मैं आपको सपोर्ट देने के लिए बिल्कुल तैयार हूँ और आपकी मैं नेक्स्ट जनरेशन भी देख रहा हूँ कहाँ गया हूँ डॉक्टर यस कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल्सो भाभी जी और मैं इतने भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूँ कि आपका ये मैं बिजनेस नहीं कहूँगा ये आपका मिशन है नॉट ए बिजनेस तो आपका ये मिशन और सक्सेस हो और हम ये कहते हैं ना कि देर इज़ 198 नाइन्टी एट कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड तो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा कंट्रीज़ में आपका काम शुरू हो ऑफिस शुरू हो बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अगेन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिव एज ए फैमिली मेम्बर थैंक यू Thank you, Mr. Kulkarni, for your humble words. As you mentioned, you have always been a part of our family. Also, you, as Mr. Praveen also rightly remarked, that uh, you know, the operations in Chennai, the potential in Chennai is too huge, and everybody is talking about how Seagal has grown from one point to the other. Obviously, the anchor is my dad over here, but we are nothing without our employees, our Seagal family, who are standing there behind. So, just a round of applause for them once. Moving on, next I invite Shri N M Sharifuddin to address us. Dr. N M Sharifuddin is a distinguished figure in business and industry, serving as the managing director of Omega Services and Consultants Private Limited, and the founder of JobsOmega dot com. His visionary leadership extends to fostering economic ties as the founder and chairman of the Indo Gulf and Middle East Chamber of Commerce in Mac. with notable roles in tourism tourism organizations and accolades like the most influential person in travel industry award his contributions span business tourism and community service leaving a lasting impact on each endeavor he undertakes we are privileged to have him as an esteemed guest today with a round of applause let us please welcome mr sharifuddin onto the dais Thank you, respected dignitaries, dear participants. Very good morning to you all. Actually, yes, I am really thankful to Dr. Suresh Kumar and his family for giving me this occasion. I had a very late evening meeting, very important meeting in Cochin. I was about to cancel this, but. still i thought because i should make it because of the importance and significance of this august gathering and function here thank you so much for making it dr suresh kumar as he has mentioned here is the leader of a powerhouse in the industrial field of india in hr he is with his family with his seagal family he is has empowered a group of industry in in the sense see in not only in hr even in training in skill skill uh, skill up upgradation and all the activities and aspects of the hr management in the field like see not only overseas but in india also has yes, see put a very remarkable success being the agency for or getting getting the dedicated uh, approval for from, from the adani ports congrats once again and 15 branches in 10 countries is not an easy work or we all know many from this industries are present here we know that uh, the growth of this industry is mainly contributing a great contribution a great support to the indian economic economy because people who are sending inward remittances that in foreign currency is supporting india like anything maybe maybe to Uh, adjust with so many uh, problems and solve many 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 of the see, see, very very crucial aspects in india because foreign exchange is very much required with for us and now now maharashtra has see come as the first one yeah or barring kerala and it is increasing like anything i was just discussing last day with a recruiting company Who are who are recruiting the very high-profile recruiters, uh, the employers? I was told that they will not take any recruitment 
with a salary less than $300,000 dirhams in UAE, less than that, 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 that caliber or that, that scale, he will not take any, any recruitment. That means, you see, they are recruiting only a person who is getting 65, 65 lakhs of Indian rupees only. So there is a space for overseas recruitment and also in Indian recruitment, which we can collectively focus and create a, a very good platform. Do with Dr. Suresh Kumar and ourselves, we are in a discussion to make a plat international platform aggregating this recruitment <coughs> because there are a lot of changes are happening. We need to think ahead, like the CS mentioned, because his vision and vision of many of us who are present here should focus in creating such a platform where we can aggregate, consolidate all these businesses and bring, bring to India. India is the largest manpower supply in the world. We have the young population, we have the skill upgradation. Up, up, upgradation. I was recently attending a function in Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha, in a skill development summit, because they have taken a, as, as a very prominent see, uh, goal, getting skills updated, upgraded, for the employment of the, the, the citizens there. With an association with uh, say, a Singapore company, they have recently started a skill development uh, organization, skill development institute. So these are making many skill updation and many, many skilled power, manpower in India, where we have to so consolidate, a, a consolidate and market among the world. We have, we, we have a chance, we have a space, we have a place for that. I appeal to my colleagues in the recruitment industry here. Okay, we have to very high, we have to very seriously think about forming a consolidated platform for addressing these very essential and necessary requirements of the world. Because the world is requiring in, to India for their manpower. We know that see many countries, including Japan, is looking for Indian manpower now, because because of their aged population and avail availability of this young population in India and highly skilled people in India, they are looking to India, and India has to make make use of this opportunity in, in a very successful manner. And what I am see appealing to see the, the industry people here, because we have we have to study, we have to engage. We have to see involved in see, skill upgradation because I was see, talking to the National University head in Oman yesterday. They have started the AI artificial intelligence course in Oman for the first time in the country in association with one of the Singapore University. Because that's the way the world is growing. We have a lot of opportunities because why people from India is going abroad for higher studies because we do have many restricted areas of uh, see, specialized courses in India, whereas some see 2000 plus courses are available abroad. And if we can bring in these courses to uh, India, maybe as an affiliation or, 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 a, or a franchisee of the foreign universities, identifying the suitable courses, India will make a change. India can see a lot of foreign exchange also. I'm, I'm not to see, uh, taking much of your time, but I use this occasion to congratulate Dr. Suresh Kumar, his family and, and this Siegel family for having to come, having came to Chennai and, and trying to make a change here because this, this area, the people of, people of this area will really get a lot of opportunities and will be successful in getting employment elsewhere, not only in abroad, even in India also, in a very high, high level. Thank you so much for calling me for this <coughs> function once again, and wish you all the very best. Thank you so much, Dr. Sharafuddin, for sharing your valuable thoughts with us. Uh, to conclude our ceremony, I would like to invite Ms. Divyanka Paralekar, Manager, HR and Admin of Siegel International Group, to deliver the word of thanks. Ms. Divyanka, please step onto the dais. A very good morning to everyone. 
on his joyous occasion of inauguration of Sigri International's new office in Chennai. I stand before you with immense gratitude and the honor of delivering this vote of thanks. First and foremost, on behalf of Siegel, I would like to express my profound gratitude to our esteemed guest, Dr. A. V. Anno, for his presence and for inaugurating this auspicious new chapter in our journey. I also extend my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest, Mr. Ravi Kumar, our guest of honor, Mr. V. C. Praveen, Mr. Raghunath Kulkarni, and Dr. N. M. Shar Sharafuddin for blessing us with their distinguished presence on this significant occasion. Your wisdom, accomplishments, and dedication to excellence have left an indelible mark on us. And we are deeply thankful for your inspiring words and your support. I extend my heartfelt thanks to our Chairman and Managing Director, Dr. Suresh Kumar Madhusudanan, for his visionary leadership and for spearheading Siegel's remarkable journey over the past four decades. His commitment to excellence has been the driving force behind our growth, and we are privileged to have you at the helm. A special thank you to all our colleagues, partners, associates, and clients who have traveled from various corners of the world to be here with us today. Your trust and collaboration have been instrumental in our success, and we look forward to many more years of fruitful partnerships. My gratitude also goes out to our architects and interior designers who have created this stunning workspace. Your creativity and attention to detail have turned our vision into reality. In conclusion, as we set sail on this new chapter in our journey, let us carry forward the spirit of dedication, enthusiasm, and unwavering commitment. Together, we will continue to serve our clients, foster connections between talent and opportunities, and craft even more remarkable success stories in the years ahead. In gratitude, I want to express our heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you for gracing us with your presence on this momentous day and for being an integral part of our dedication. Your presence has made this day truly extraordinary. Once again, thank you so much. May all you have a splendid evening ahead. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Divyanka. Uh, just a small uh, change in plans. I would like to invite uh, our CMD, Dr. Suresh Kumar Madhusudan on the dais. There are some people who would like to felicitate you. <coughs> yes. Personally, I'd like to thank our guests and colleagues for their support and look forward to advancing our mission of delivering exceptional HR solutions worldwide. As we bring this inaugural function to a close, may I request everyone to please rise for the national anthem.
Thank you everyone. This concludes our inauguration ceremony. We appreciate your presence and participation. Have a wonderful day ahead. Signing off, Shreya Suresh Kumar. Thank you.